Today, I'm going to go through some of the features of our most popular racks, all of which are made right here in the USA. I'm also going to go through and answer some of the most frequently asked questions about the Seasucker rack line. Let's get to it. This is a Seasucker bomber. It holds up to three bikes. You'll see here the deck is 40 inches wide and is attached with five vacuum pads. It also comes with three rear wheel straps. Each one of the vacuum mounts that you see here holds up to 210 pounds of pull strength. So if you have one, two, or three bikes on this rack, they're not going anywhere. So the bomber is great for those that have multiple bikes or often are riding with their family, friends, or a part of a cycling team or club. It's great also for those that are often on road trips and want to bring multiple bikes and are looking for something a bit more heavy duty than a standard mini bomber or talon. Seasucker vacuum mounted bike racks can be mounted on metal and glass. Really any non-porous surface our racks will attach to. So like every Seasucker vacuum mount, all of the vacuum mounts you see here have this orange indicator band. This orange indicator band lets you know when your vacuum mount starts to lose pressure. When you attach, you pump until that orange indicator band disappears. If you start to see that orange indicator band pop up, all you have to do is just repump and you're good to go. All Seasucker vacuum mounts come with a cup pad cover. One of these covers keeps that vacuum pad safe from debris. It also allows that cup to keep its shape over time. Like all Seasucker racks, the bomber is highway tested and approved. We just don't recommend that you drive over 80 miles an hour on the highway with one of our racks. Weather does not affect the bomber. We do say if you are in colder temperatures to let the vacuum pad reacclimate to room temperature before installing on your vehicle. The vacuum mounts actually do better when it's raining and we do recommend that you wet the vacuum pad with just a little bit of water before attaching. It'll help that seal last just a little bit longer. So the bomber is a great rack for those with heavier bikes like e-bikes and mountain bikes. We just recommend that you don't mount more than 135 pounds of total bikes using the bomber. So if you're gonna mount three bikes, make sure the bikes don't weigh more than 45 pounds. If you're gonna mount two or one, just make sure it doesn't exceed 135 pounds. So in every bomber box, you'll find a bomber deck with five vacuum mounts attached, as well as three rear wheel straps, like you see here. You also receive three Husky Universal fork mount adapters, as well as a riser block, which will allow you to mount that center bike at a slightly elevated position so that the handlebars don't touch while you're in transit. In addition, you'll see that the Husky fork mount is designed so that there are multiple holes where you can mount this fork mount at an angle, again, so those handlebars don't have to touch while in transit. In addition to all of that, you also receive three crank arm straps. These are just used to attach to your crank arm so that your crank arm doesn't fall to the roof of your vehicle. Quick release axles, as well as three sets of Husky plugs. And to install the Husky plugs, all you're going to do is simply pop those plugs into the fork mount. 